Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my top 10 favorite toys that I got in 2023, so last year. And sadly, this is going to be my last video about like my 2023 list, 2024 list kind of deal, which I mean, I'm ready to get onto some collection stuff, and I do have my Xavier Roberts slash Cabbage Patch plushie collection waiting. So let's dive into it. I have to say, a lot of these are gifts, um, and if you're one of the per people who gifted this to me or sent me like a link saying you need to get this, like thank you so much. Like I always appreciate that. I have a few friends who are constantly like thinking about me and sending me links and um, sending me toys, and it's just so lovely. Um, it's such a great community to be in um and then there's more than 10 toys because i cheated so let's go the first couple items are cabbage patch items and these are the cabbage patch ponies from the 90s which i never knew that they existed until lao from lao sky painter um sent me a link saying have you seen these did you know they existed and i've seen like the 2000s ponies and i thought that that's what it was going to be originally and then i looked and i saw like these beautiful brassy button eyes these classic patterns and i was like oh my goodness I need those and apparently these are like UK um, exclusives or not UK like Europe because I think um, these might have been from Germany um, I can't remember because I know that she's in Berlin but she saw it on her website but the website was a different language that I didn't know so I don't know exactly where they came from but somewhere close to Germany in Europe I suspect but this one has the butterfly pattern there's these little pockets on each side um, the butterfly pattern is called beautiful butterfly and it is a pattern that you don't see very often these are pretty small they also have the pattern on the bottom of the feet and they're really cute with like the um, cabbage patch cabbage patch doodle bear kids um like you can imagine like isn't that cute together um i think that one of these might have actually had a tag yeah that says doodle kids um so yeah it's by these are by mattel this one has the pink mane and the superstar pattern um she's so pretty so yeah, these are definitely up there on my list. Uh, I'm so happy to have them and they're definitely one of my favorite things that I got this year. My next item is another Doodle Bear item, which is this beautiful fakey bunny. So it does have a tag. So it was manufactured somewhere. Um, there's a friend I have on Instagram who finds like really obscure things um she sent me this um uh, picture of this um i think this one is from italy and i think she said that she thinks that it's an italian fakie um but you can tell that the button eyes are just regular buttons and that's kind of what throws it off um you can also see like the stitching and the brows aren't exactly the same but it is a bunny and she has this flower pattern on all the right places where doodle bears usually would um the button works she is so pretty and i feel like she's a one of a kind piece like i don't think i will ever see one of these ever again she's so unique and it makes her so special and this is and she just sent this to me like out of the kindness of her heart because she likes to help people complete collections and she has like so many cool fakies on her instagram too the last i saw i think she was actually selling all of her things i'll link her instagram um down below um because i don't know how to pronounce it like i'll put it on the screen and you can go check her out and see if 
I haven't really seen her post anything in a while either, but she's a very kind person. Um, and then I also got sent a link for this from that same Instagram toy person. So it has this bubble pattern, which is also seen on the Splash Time Duo Bears, which were made for the bath or for water. Um, and this one is a tri-color backpack. She has the green, the orange, the blue. She has the bow. I'm pretty sure these were made by, it just says Kaplan Associates. Um, it doesn't say any other factory, I don't think. Um, but she has this little skirt part. She has the orange straps on the back. And... She has this zipper here, which I don't really want to pull because I'm scared it'll break, but yeah, so I just messaged the seller of this and asked if she could send it um, because she was a Facebook Marketplace find, and she agreed to do so, so that was really nice. Uh, okay, let's get it. Oh, wait. There's one more Doodle Bear item, so that counts for one, two, three. We're on number four of the list, and I have another set. So these are by Mattel and they're called Pocket Doodle Zoodles. It shows that they're originally um, retailed at Kmart for only four dollars. This blows my mind. This is the pink dino. This is kind of the girl one and then I also found the boy with the vest this year. These are both in the happening heart pattern. <sighs> He's blue, she's pink, she has a dress, he has a little vest that opens. Um, so these are probably made in like 1996 or 1997 because that's when Mattel took over. These are so hard to find and I literally found them within a week of each other. I'll show you the back of the box so you can see some of the other ones. And this is like the dogs and the rabbit and stuff. Um, pocket doodle bears and then pocket doodle zoodles but there are so many other doodle zoodles and these are often called by different names like the names are not consistent but she came with one little marker there's no way I couldn't add these into my top 10 favorites so those are number four number five let's get into let's just go through the plushies first this was a thrift store find which I showed you in a thrift haul but I never actually showed him once he was clean and this is my Snicklefritz plush from the big comfy couch he smells so good now um, it just says big comfy couch corp it doesn't have a company but he's so cute um, his eyes are in here I promise they're just hard to see his nose was like a little dinged up it's like made out of like a leathery pleathery material but like look how fluffy he is Look how cute he is. I love him. I love him so much. So he's number five on my list. And I was so glad. I'm so glad when I can thrift things that are just not like I'm picking them up just because. But like because they mean something so deeply to me. And there's something I've been searching for or looking for. Or that are so nostalgic. Like those are my favorite thrift finds. Um, let's go continue with the plushies. So this is another one where I doubled up. But we have Party. She was, I got her for my birthday this year. And she's my first like big popple. And also I got my first pocket popple as well, which was Little Party. When I see her sitting up on my shelf, like I get so happy. And I can't wait to start collecting the big ones and the pocket. I don't know which one I'm going to get into this year. Um, on my list for toys I want to get for 2024, the top 24, um, I have Putter. So after I get Putter, who I think is an 8 inch, then I will start either getting pop the big ones or the pocket ones. I haven't made up my mind yet. But I definitely love those so much. Um, how do I always forget who makes popples? Like this happened in the last video too. But they are made in around 1985. American Greetings. That's the same people that make... Wait. That make my pet monster? Or 
they're so, 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 so. It's my pet monster and Popples. They're like cousins. Okay, that can lead us into our next thing. So that's, that was number six. Keep me, keep me accountable. Number seven. My pet monster. This is Ozzy. He is nowhere near perfect, but I love him. I love how big he is. He's so precious. Um, and he's also made by American Greetings. And he was like more of a boy toy line, probably around 1985 or six, I think, probably. So he's this big blue guy. And I love him so much. But now we know that my pet monster, Popples, cousins. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh. Number eight. We're on to number eight. And I'm out of I'm out of plushies, but I do have a figure. This is Tuggy. Um and he is from the snuggle bums line he would usually pull a carriage that had the princess um snuggle bum inside but he's just so wonderful and so beautiful and so unique and i just love him i love him so much like look at his face i love him so we're only supposed to have two more toys nine and ten but I have four more toys so you'll have to forgive me so the, the next one's small so maybe we can just like not count him as much because he's little yeah but this is mud puppy and these little friends are really hard to find. They're made by Tomy in like 1985, 1986, and they were a part of the Sweet Seas Mermaid line. Um, and they were a part of this set that would come with like one little friend and a fashion piece. And this is the mud puppy that I got. And like I said, he's so hard to find. But not as hard to find as like Goldie and all the other ones that are in that set. But he actually, this was the fashion piece that came with him. As well as like, a, it says like white caps on it. Um, and he also came with like a bucket like a little pill and a ball. So I hope to find those and then this set with him and the fashion will be complete. And then I can look for the other ones even though they're kind of things that are, I feel like are very, very difficult to find. But I do also have the little floaty. Usually I can remember this seahorse's name but for some reason, I'm blanking on all of my, um, Sweet Seas mermaid stuff. Like, I can't remember, like, any of the details. Which, it's one of my favorite things, so I don't know why I can't remember. Um, and then, so that was number nine. Number ten? Hmm... guys I can't choose I have I have three dolls and my dolls are Thumbelina she's so precious she's wearing her little pear outfit she has some blushing she's just so gorgeous um Thumbelina 1961 by Ideal and she was the very first mechanical doll I have two others from like the 90s and the early 2000s but like mechanical dolls you would turn this little switch and um it would make her arms or her head move but I'm pretty sure mine is broken 
but I love her anyway. What I really love about her is her eyes. But yeah, I really love her. So she would be number 10, right? Right? But so let's do 12. Let me stop and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so let's do my top 12 instead, since I want to fit everything on here. I'm not going to redo the intro though, I'll just start out with 10 and then tell you that I changed to 12, and then in my thumbnail I'll say 12, because I have to add these two. Um, the next one is my Chatty Cathy, who I got as a gift from my mom and stepdad, and she's so cute. I have, I got her around Christmas time, but I've since redressed her and cleaned her, so I did her hair, I got her this little bow, she's wearing Hello Kitty, um, these are 18 inch doll clothes. These shoes are a little big, but they're from like the kids section and they're boots that I already had. But yeah, um, um, Chatty Kathy was a doll that would talk. So she was the first of her kind. You pull this string and she would say like 8 to 12 phrases or something. But she was the first one like her, which I think is so cool. And lastly, my favorite toy of the entire year. Like if I could have gotten... Oh, it's so difficult. If I say that, then I feel bad for all of my Doodle Bear stuff because all of the Doodle Bear stuff that I got this year was super rare and hard to find things. So I could always find another one of these. There's no guarantees that I could find any of the Doodle Bear stuff over again. So I can't say that if I could only get one thing this year that I would get her. I would probably more rather have some of the Doodle Bear items, but she is my favorite item from the year. And that is my Little Miss No Name. She's also dressed in 18 inch doll clothes. Um, she has a sewn on or glued on wig, but actually I really liked the wig, so I kept it. You can see the spot where her little tear is missing right here. She's really cute. Um, she's made by Hasbro 1961? 65. And if you don't know the story of her, um, she was supposed to be like a little orphan who was begging for a home. She was so sad and she came like in a little potato sack dress and she had a little tear on her face and everybody was terrified of her and she didn't sell well and she just continued really early. Um, but I'm so glad I have one. Her original hair is like blonde. Um, I wouldn't actually mind having a second Little Miss No Name in my collection with blonde hair. But yeah, I really, really love her. And I love dressing my old vintage dolls in like pastel and fun clothing. Um, I just think it adds so much life to them. But yeah, thanks for joining me to see my 12 favorite toys of 2023. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay whimsical. Bye guys.